Hey everyone, it's time again for Brush and Scratch Draw a Zoo. Today, we are going to draw a cute little animal that you often see at the zoo, but if you live where I live here in Florida, sometimes you even see these animals when you're camping, and I have seen one of these when I'm camping as well. They're super cute and super fun to draw, and it's called an armadillo. So let's get started. Go ahead and get your sketchbook out and your drawing pencils. Of course, if you don't have drawing pencils, a plain old pencil will work fine and a piece of paper. But if you are using your drawing pencils, go ahead and start with the HB. We always start with HB or an H pencil so that we can draw lightly. And then later we use a darker pencil with softer graphite so that we can go over our lines and make our drawing darker. So let's start with shapes because we know shapes are very important when we draw something. The first shape we're gonna draw today for our armadillo kind of looks like a jelly bean. And let me show you what I mean. It's rounded at the top like this. And then on the bottom, it kind of dips in just like that. You see? I think that looks kind of like a big kidney bean or jelly bean or something like that. If you have trouble drawing that, you could start with an oval and then just add the little dip on the bottom. Great job so far. All right, the next shape is a circle. And we're gonna put the circle right up here at the front of our jelly bean, just like that. The next shape is a triangle, and it's going to come off the front of this circle. I'm going to come down the front and out, and then back again, just like that, kind of coming out of the side of that circle shape. All right, a few more shapes now. The next one, I guess we could say it kind of looks like a leaf, and that shape is going to go right here, just inside the circle. We're going to go one, and two, just like that. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, except I'm gonna start right here and go one, two. So it's not the full leaf, it's just part of the leaf, just like that. Okay, now I'm going to move to the other end of the jelly bean and I'm going to draw a long, skinny triangle. Great job, see how easy this is so far? Okay, just a few more shapes before we get our dark pencil. The next line is going to just come from here over to here. That's going to be our armadillo's tummy peeking out from underneath his armored shell. Okay, now a couple squares, or I guess they might end up being rectangles. We're going to put one here like this. And then right beside it, another one, just like that. And the same thing on the other side. A little square and right beside it, another one. Great job so far. One more shape before we get our dark pencil. We're going to just kind of come, this is more of a line, I guess, not really a shape, but we're going to come down this, where this ear is and around and then back up just next to that ear. See how I did that? All right, now it's time to get your dark pencil. If you have drawing pencils, you could use a 2B, 3B. Today I'm gonna to use my 6B. I'm gonna go nice and dark with my lines. And this is, of course, if you don't have drawing pencils, just use the pencil you had, but press a little harder this time so your lines are darker. We're gonna start with the head of our armadillo. And so what I'm going to do first is trace this one shape that I started with. See the nice dark line that 6B pencil gives me? Just like that. I guess it almost looks like a teardrop when it's all by itself, doesn't it? Now I'm going to go up the side of this ear and I'm gonna make it a little smaller because I made it a little big at first. And then I'm going to add another line that curves a little bit right down the middle, just like that. Great job. All right, let's do the other ear. The other one, I'm gonna just come right like that. Copy what I did, just trace it. And again, add that extra line, curved line, just like that. Again, that makes the ears look a little bit cupped, so it looks like the armadillo is listening. 
Okay, now I'm gonna come over here to this side of the face and I'm gonna come right down and go out that triangle right there and kind of round the end like that. See how I didn't bring it to a point? I brought it around. And then I'm gonna come back and around his face and right up to that ear, just like that. Great job so far. All right, now he needs a smile because we always put a smile on our animals, unless they're grumpy. All right, let's put a smile on him like that and a little eye. There you go. Now he also needs a nose, and so we're going to put a little circle right there at the end. Great job. Okay, let's get to our armadillo body, which is armored. If you'll know, armadillos have a tough exoskeleton. If you're really into science, you'll know what that means. And let's draw that now. Let's copy the light lines that we did. And so I'm going to trace that jelly bean shape that I did all the way around, right back to his chin. See how I did that? Just like that. Now I'm going to add some lines because armadillos have little plates in their shell. And to suggest that, I'm going to bring a line that just curves slightly in there. One, two, and one more makes three three little lines right in the middle of our armadillo. Great job so far. All right, let's trace his tummy and his tail. Now with the tail, I'm going to again curve the end of that triangle a little bit so it wasn't quite so pointy. All right, we are almost finished. This one is super simple but super fun. With the feet, I'm going to come down and I'm gonna come across but I'm gonna go just a little bit farther than my line went. See how I went just a tiny bit farther there than my light line? And then I'm going to curve around and come back and straight up, just like that. See how I turned that little um, square into an actual foot with that tiny little piece sticking out the front. And so I'm gonna do the same thing over here. I'm gonna come down that line and again, do a tiny little piece coming out just like that. All right, I bet you know what we're gonna do with these last two shapes, don't you? Let's do the same thing. We're gonna come down and then go a little bit farther, scoot back and up. And then on this leg, we're gonna come down over a little bit and scoot back. And there we have an armadillo. Now, that was very easy to do. And what I'm gonna do with my pencil now, since I'm using my dark pencil, is add just a little bit of shading to make him more interesting. Now, if you don't want to do that or you don't have drawing pencils, you can stop here, but it kind of makes it interesting if I think about the armored plates of the armadillo and how those would be a darker gray than his body. And so just very lightly with the side of my pencil, I'm going to just shade a little bit. It's almost like coloring. If you have colored pencils, you could maybe get out a gray colored pencil and do this, but I'm using my 6B because you see how I'm making the one side darker than the other side. That makes his armor look a little more rounded. And you can do the same thing on the top. You can come like this and around and just finish, make it a little darker on the top and it gets lighter as we go down. And then I might get a little darker again as I get to the bottom. Very easy to do. And of course, the more time you spend on it, the nicer it will look, doing a great job. And there is our little friend, the armadillo. You can take an eraser now and erase some of those lines, especially in the face that we didn't use. And when you are all finished, go ahead and take a picture post it on in our Facebook business page so I can see the animal that you drew and like and subscribe on YouTube so you can see these animals every single week. I hope you have a great day.